Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gin and Juice podcast. My name is Melissa. And I am Mel. And we are real life sisters. We get on this uh, here podcast and the microphone and we speak to you every single week about whatever the heck we want to and nothing at all. What's going on in our lives? What's going on in the week? What's going on in pop culture? And we give our opinions and sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. Amen. And this week I am. You want to be that lemon drop from yet? No, you need to be that spiked uh, root beer float. I will be that, and I will also thank our sponsors for the episode, which is Denise Essex, HelloFresh, and my bookie. Thank y'all. Hi, I'm Melissa. And, and I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just got to drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That's not That's true. No, listen, and every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? Yeah, Greg turned 40. Well, it was Greg and Marcus's. Their birthdays are a day, a day apart. apart. And so uh, Greg turned 40, and we did a... Ooh, that's Spike Ruby. Child. I just remember. I just It's registering what you said. Uh, we did a... What was it? Desserting the 30s. Yeah, desserting the 30s themed birthday party because Greg, as disciplined as Greg is with food, he has a sweet tooth that rivals he, mine. Oh, my. It's probably worse than mine, Bad actually. Um, and so the the day was indulgent. So we had churros and um, ice cream sandwiches thank you. and root beer floats yeah. and a churro sundae. All the things. A lot of sweets. Yes. And we did chicken and wings and uh, the leftover food actually for Marcus's birthday. Yes. So it was a great time. And the bar. And the bar, yeah. And the lady did spiked root beer floats. And they were strong. It was not a good liquor. She put like Maker's know. Mark in there. Ugh. What is Maker's Mark? What alcohol is Whiskey, that? Whiskey, right? It's not oh, good that with sense. that. It was a good. That was a. It was just a bad idea. What should you That's put? Because with Maker's it? Mark was there for Greg's. Um, oh, the signature drink. Yes, I, whatever he likes. I can't think of it right now. But old fashioned. His old fashioned Maker's Mark goes in old fashioned. So she just used that, but she shouldn't have. Would a rum work better? I was just thinking, would a rum, a rum have worked better? Oh, rum. bourbon. Oh, a bourbon. Burb, something but, creamy. That's what I think too. Yeah, Monique Marshall is our middle sister. This is always the space for her. Yes, she's tequila, but uh, bourbon actually does go good with sweets because you do like apple pie. I mean, uh, oh, vanilla peach crown would have been fire. Vanilla crown. That would have been. That was what we needed. Oh, Maker's Mark is bourbon. It is. Oh well, uh, that was nasty. Crown vanilla would have been good. Anyway, it was a very good, interesting time. So anyway, we start this podcast with. Um, Long story short, we catch you up on some of the things that's happened through the week. I have one thing I have to say, but I can't say it. Why? But we had a really exciting it's a morning. Bourbon whiskey. Sorry, it's a bourbon whiskey. Because aren't all bourbons whiskey, but all Look, whiskeys aren't bourbon? Why is it missing the E in whiskey, though? Oh, it shows. But it literally, anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter. It I think gross. that's what it is. All bourbons are whiskey, but all whiskeys aren't bourbons. Or, or it might be the opposite, but oh, it's I something along those lines. Um, so we had a very exciting morning, and I can't wait for you guys to see what we saw oh yes we did this uh that you guys will see is it coming out when is it releasing courtney is it on wednesday wednesday no yeah the what we saw yeah he, he said wednesday when, okay so on wednesday this episode gets out on thursday i'm trying to think but so we can't say it now because we're live yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't say no that. we're not going to and but it's an embargo so i no the, just come back to this video when you guys know, because what happened when me and Mel, when we did, uh, I was about to say Married to Medicine, when we did, what's the name of my book? Marriage Be Hard. Uh -huh. And you guys were on. It's the same day Kev was mm -hmm. interviewing and people went back and was like, oh, it was the TBS oh, thing, oh, oh, oh. Uh, which is true. So if you watch our The Marriage Be Hard series the episodes that i am alone that's the day because we block shoot that's the day kev was on set um auditioning for the tbs short friday vibes. night vibes and so just come back to this video and be like i have seen it okay because it'll be on and Thursday. you'll know what we're talking you'll about literally you won't not know you will literally know yes that's what she was talking about like there's no way around it so anyway that was exciting um couple things only a couple things i have to say number one Joe played goalie. Oh, yeah. So you guys know Joe plays soccer. 
the other day, last week, he had a game on like Friday, whatever day it was. And their team, apparently, I don't know if their goalie got sick or maybe he was having like great issues. I'm not quite sure. Regardless, he were short a goalie. So they had someone play the first half. And the second half, they needed someone someone to play. For some reason, my child volunteered. Oh, he volunteered. Yes. I didn't realize it was a volunteer either. So I leave for halftime because it's cold. And I'm like, go to my car to warm up. So as I'm coming back on the field, the parents are looking at me, look for Joe on the field. Because I'm like, I don't see Joe. I don't see him on the bench. Like, I don't, I'm confused where my child is. So literally, they're being funny. And they're like, are you looking for Joe? I'm like, yes. They said, or JoJo. Are you looking for JoJo? I'm like, yeah, I don't see him. They say he's playing goalie. <laughs> I said, goalie? So they all start cracking up. My little child is in the goalie box. Immediately stressed. Wait, you are him? Well, I'm sure he... Well, I know now he absolutely was stressed. I was stressed because... If you, I said this on Instagram, if you have a child that plays a team sport, which makes a difference. If they're doing individual sports, there is stress. But like that's every time you see them, it's an individual sport. If you have a child that does a team sport, but has an individual uh, position, like a kicker in football, the goalie, the amount of stress, the pitcher, In baseball, the level of intensity and stress that you feel when you know this is your moment. It's all on you. It's your moment. Oh, my God. So the very first. You lose yourself in the moment. You own it. I was in there like this the the whole time. All of the parents were cracking up at me like, you have to relax. I can't (laughs) relax. I am completely stressed. So the first play, not the first play, but the first play where Joe, like, gets to be goalie. Yeah. He runs out of the box. Yes. You know, as goalie, you run out of the box, you're free game. Yeah, you're essentially yeah. a player. Okay. Well so I'm like, why would he run out of the box? Why would, what if he missed? Because that's also the way you get caught. Yeah. If the player beats you to the ball, they have a free yeah, shot open. on goal. Yeah. He grabs the ball, kicks it to the other side. I said, well, not grabs it because he's out of the box. He can't grab it with Sam, but he kicks it to the other side. I, it was a waiting to exhale moment. <laughs> I don't think I breathed until that moment. It was like, <gasps> oh, like I was, <laughs> I was so stressed out. He blocked four shots. Four. That's good. Fantastic. That's really they good. They scored no times. On, when, on him. During, so he blocked all the shots. He blocked That's all of their great. shots. That's great. I was, I'm sweating now thinking about it. I was stressed the heck out. He wants to keep going now? No, he said he was so stressed. Oh. I said, Joe, why'd you volunteer? He was like, because we didn't need any, we didn't have anybody. Uh-huh. So like, I figured I would do it. And I was like, first of all, we should talk first. <laughs> like, you shouldn't just raise your hand and do I'll play goalie. I wasn't ready for that. He was like, no, I probably won't do it again. Because it was uh, like, I was, every time the ball would come, he did one where he ran out of the box, another one where he had to um like jump to get it and another one where he caught it oh, inside yeah. i can't remember the fourth one it clearly wasn't that exciting but it was like he never had to dive sideways those yeah. are always exciting to like watch but he didn't have to do that but he did did uh, they win two to one two to one two to one and it could have been two to you said four he blocked four he so blocked. five mm-hmm that's great. I was texting Kev because they were in Mexico City. So I'm texting him the whole time like, Joe's that goalie. He was like, what? And he's like, are you recording? I said, I can't. I'm too much. I was stressed. Yeah, that's so good. So as I realized like, oh, he's doing really well. Like they may not score. I'm like 10 minutes left, 15 minutes left, less than 10 minutes left, less than five minutes left, less than two minutes left. Like he did it. <laughs> it was very stressful. The whole very stressful. second half he played? The whole second half. 35 minutes. That's so good. 35 that minutes. That is a long And I was like this the whole time. And I'm cold naturally anyway, oh, yeah. so I'm just like this the whole time. Stressed. So that. my prayers go to all of the parents. If your child plays an individual position on a team sport, I didn't realize the stress. It was very stressful. <laughs> it was very, very stressful. I love it. Yeah. I need to um, come to the next one. There's one today. Not today, girl. <laughs> I think he may Tell have another. Next, next one. 
maybe on Friday. It says TBD right now. Oh, and the girl be on tour, so Friday could work. Okay, yeah, he has one today. They've won most of the games too. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. I actually thought they lost most of them, but he was like, "Uh, no." I was like, "Oh, excuse They're me." They're good. Um, I didn't realize. And this was the kicker. Kicker. No pun uh -huh, intended. No pun intended. So you guys know the story that Joe was kicked off, cut oh. from his club team. Oh. The coach of the club team guest coached for the game on Friday. For his side? Joe's for his side, side? For, for Joe's our side? side? Oh, wow. So when Joe went to go grab his stuff, I went to go heat up the car. We're in California. I know it's not that cold, but I be cold. Yeah, okay? yeah. So, like, these are the things I have to do. So I go to grab the stuff. I, you know, tell the kids, whatever. On the way out, the coach is behind me. And so me, I'm like, hey! I said, do you remember me? He was like, yeah, 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 of course. I said, um, you coach now here? He was like, oh, sometimes I do. I said, Joe did really well, right? He was like, he did. He did. <laughs> we didn't have a goalie. He, he's the one who told me because I talked to him first. He volunteered to do it. Uh. I was a little nervous. He did fantastic. He did uh. good. And the kids won. I was like, yeah. <laughs> the kid you cut, huh? That's all I wanted you to remember. See I, I don't know why he it. wouldn't remember me or Joe. But, like, I wanted to make sure. Do you? Hi! Mm. Did Excuse you see me. my son? Hi. That's hilarious. My name's Melissa. Do you remember me? I'm JoJo's mom. <laughs> he did good today, right? You saw my baby the whole second half. That's the one you had cut. Hello? But you see how good he's doing now? I just wanted you to remember that you had cut him. That's it. <laughs> That's all I wanted you to say. So I just wanted to throw that out there that that, had, that absolutely happened just like no exaggeration i exaggerate a lot no exaggeration hi excuse me hi hi over here yeah yeah of course i remember oh you do that's hilarious then you know that was my baby okay then as long as we're all on the same page we can turn the page now <laughs> um okay anything else no oh i do have to say this my our niece and my son got into the HBCU that we wanted them to get into. Yeah. Our niece will absolutely be going to that HBCU. Will your son be going? TBD. TBD, no. <laughs> TBD, no. TBD as determined, no. Okay. But well. technically today is TBD. Okay. Uh, I have a video idea once he officially tells us no. Oh. But for right now... And all if you are if you are my family, listen to me. If you are my family and you are in this chat, do not text him because that's how I be getting in trouble. Oh, don't text him. Just let him make his announcement when he make his announcement. But it's gonna be no. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you just tell me no now? He's like, cause I still might. And I'm just like, okay. He might give him some time. That's all I have to say about that. Hilarious. Oh, last thing. Last thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Last thing. You don't have one? Mm. Okay. Last thing I want to say. I never had a car with remote start. Oh. You got you to gotta turn that on mute when you're recording. I'm sorry. I never had a Before car. Before the one you have now? Before the one I had now, I never had a car with a remote start. You know, I'm a Toyota Honda girl, and I don't be getting all the packages. I just be, I just give me a car from A to Z. That's all I need. I don't need all the things. It's fine. I would be regular. So I got a little, and I never did it. So this whole time I've had this car, not that I've never, I've it? had it for a long, long time, but I had had it for a while, and I've never done remote start. Oh. The other day I did it for the first time. Why would you not do that your whole life? It feels so nice walking your car. Oh and, it's and it's already on. Gosh. Even as a safety thing, you should do it. It was it was life changing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you haven't done this. I've never done it. Why? I don't know because I, I can't do it. Is yours on your key? Yes. I have to go to an app. I have a key and an app. That's yeah. even better. Oh, the, I, sometimes the you car. You can just pull up your phone. And... Although sometimes the app's not connected. And yeah, it's a lot. It. Oh, sometimes okay. it is a lot. And located, there's two different apps. There's like a, I don't know all the things, oh. but I have two different apps. And if I go to the wrong app, then I got to go. It'd be a lot. So for whatever reason, on this particular night, I said, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I got in my car. I said, "Ooh, it's warm." It already be on. The heat be going, especially in the winter. Oh, or in the summer if yeah. it's hot, you turn the AC on already. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, it is the best thing ever. I I, I was unaware. I've been Girl. brought to the side of luxury that I was unaware of. Girl, freaking fantastic. So good. Just freaking fantastic.
Um, it's so good. But also, let me tell you what else is freaking fantastic. And that is a book called Daddy's Maybe. Let me tell you guys about this book. Please do. First of all. Okay. The title alone, I'm in. You're already in. Um, it is. So you know that couple in high school who always are together like Velcro. And, they, and you just know they're going to get married mm-hmm. and have children one day. Yes. Very similar to a story... Oh, me and Like Kev. yours, right? Uh, except there's except a turn. Except there's no maybes. No, girl. And there's a <laughs> turn in this story that it, it goes real left. The best part about I love books that as adults, listen, just follow me. <laughs> because when you're younger, you like get lost. I always feel like those books are like fantastical and fantasy and you get lost. But when you get older and you read a, one, a book that was made for women audience. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, it's like fantastical, but it's like dramatic. Mm-hmm. It is tea, drama, gossip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the best. And you just get law. Lo- I used, I will read a book. This is what happened with this book. I love when I can read a book and after I'm done, I still be thinking about the characters. I'll be like, well, I wonder <laughs> where that story could have gone. Well, what happened? Where would they be today? Where would they be today? Yes. That is my life with this book. Okay, so anyway, let me get back to telling y'all about it. I just have to say that I, th- that's my jam. So Destiny and Xavier was that high school couple we were just talking about. They were super in love but lost touch after graduation. She never got over him when he left their small home ta- hometown. When he moved back, the church folks started whispering about who the father of her, okay, mm. Destiny's oldest son was. Was it her unfaithful husband, Jason? or her high school sweetheart, Xavier. Read Daddy's Maybe to find out. Author of Daddy's Maybe is Denise Essex. She is a best-selling indie author with 12 published romance books. She published her first book in July of 2022 after working on it for 10 years. She went on to publish 11 more books since. With her experience, she now offers workshops to aspiring writers who are having trouble finishing their books. So, like I said, it is, there's some, um, (laughs) there are some reviews on uh, TikTok of people who have read this book, and those are, like, a good time. I feel like they they help, too. Like, if you watch that, it's going to just make you want to read the book even more because, again, it's just drama, okay? She has this son, and she has her her little boyfriend from high school, but then he moves away, and she never gets to tell him that she's pregnant, and then he ends up being her neighbor. Mm. And somebody's like, man, you look just like the neighbor. And he's like, oh, my God, Mom, somebody said that I look like the neighbor Xavier. She's like, Xavier? Ex- who? What's his name? Uh-uh. And all of a sudden, people start having questions. It's really good. It's it's my fave right now. Um, anyway, so Destiny Cooper... Oh, Destiny Cooper is an unhappily... I just gave y'all the synopsis, yeah. but let me give y'all what they want me to tell y'all, okay? That was my version. Destiny Cooper is an unhappily married woman with a shameful secret. She tolerates her husband cheating because she's convinced she deserves it. Although she hasn't seen him in almost 20 years, Destiny is still pinning after her high school sweetheart, Xavier. Each night, she has incident fantasies. Indecent. Hello. Indecent fantasies about him that temporarily satisfy her depraved state. Xavier Grant is a riveting man with hazel eyes that garner him more attention than his unmatched intelligence. He's agreed to move his high-maintenance wife and son back to his hometown against his better judgment for a CFO position recommended by his mentor. Destiny, the only woman he's ever loved, broke his heart two decades ago. He still dreams about the unabashed, explicit lovemaking that they shared. What happens when Xavier moves onto the same street as Destiny? Destiny is sure she will be exposed and her secret will be revealed. With thing, will things ever go back to normal in Destiny's marriage, or will she blow up her home and Xavier's because of their unfinished business? Denise writes sweetheart romance stories to empower black women to create these fictional book bars in their real lives. Her characters are sweet, but their encounters are heat. Follow her on Instagram and TikTok at Denise Essex. 222 222 that's denise e s s e x 222 y'all caught that that's denise d e n i s e e s s e x 222 you can find her books on amazon and her denise essex sweet heat etsy store 
All right. Follow, I just said, follow Denise on Amazon, Instagram, and TikTok. Download, rate, and review Daddy's Maybe. And while you're out there, check out her latest mystery romance, Cindy Ella, a Cinderella retelling. You can find her books on Amazon and her Denise Essex Sweet Etsy store. Uh, okay. Here's the promo codes. Use promo code GJ Podcast. GJ Podcast. On her Etsy shop for discounts. That's promo code G as in Jen. J as in juice podcast P O D C A S T on Denise Essex Sweet Heat Etsy store for discounts. Long story short, uh, we just did long story short. Do you have some? Oh, uh, not really. We did Greg's birthday, it was his 40th. We, my house has been sick ish, everybody's not been able to breathe for a while. Uh, we did dinner at a very kid friendly restaurant. We did well, it was Tao, but it was like you know, visually Mm -hmm. stimulating for the children. Um, McKinley loved sushi at seven. She's so LA. Um, So she had that. Uh, Micaiah was herself. Um, So it was a good time. Micaiah was at my house. She was not acting crazy. It was a good time. She didn't, uh, she was sick, so she didn't go to school really last week. I was really excited to drop her off today. Oh, she went today? Yes. She's my it's she's like, my pumpkin. I just love her. Go out in the wild. She's very um, sweet. The other thing I'll say quickly is that um, I was following this man named Franklin Ty Tucker, who was representing himself in court. And last week, his trial ended in a mistrial. It was a hung jury. The jury could not decide. Make sure you tell guilty. the people. It's the people you talked about. It's the people male talked. It's the man male talked about last week. Yes, was that it last week? one? Okay, yes, yes. Like so connect I, the dots so people know. Yes. So last week I told y'all his story. He has been representing himself um, in a murder trial. Um, that is what the state is accusing him of, and he was late to the court a couple times. He almost got put in jail because the judge said, "If you can't be here on time, I'll help you be on time. I'm just Hello? gonna put you in the jail cell in the back." <laughs> So that is what almost happened, but then he he figured out how to be on time after that. Um, it ended up being like a two week trial, and they handed it over to the jury, and they could not decide. A mistrial means that, well, he was already out on a bond, uh huh. So because it was a mistrial, he just continues to be out. He doesn't have to go to jail. He's also, I think I mentioned, he is the husband of the co founder of CrossFit. That is his his wife. Is the co-founder of CrossFit. I don't remember that part. Well, that's a fact. <laughs> For some reason, in my mind, this man was like a drug addict. Well. Two things can be true. Two, I did. Hey. hey. Oh, so he is both of those things. Uh, he has a history of um, addiction, is what I will say. Okay. Or, or drug use. Okay. Um, I don't know if he was addicted, but he has a history of drug use. Uh, But he and the co-founder actually were friends. They went to school together and they always had, I guess, some kind of interest with each other. But they just never, you know, they were kids. Um, And so when he ended up getting locked up for this, people were posting about it on Facebook. She came across it, realized this is her old friend, reached out to him while he was in jail. And he is like, I am innocent, girl. Like, let me show you all the proof. She and he ends up showing her everything. She does her own research. She believes that he is also innocent. And so they also fall in love during that process. And so she also happens to be a millionaire. And so when his um, when the um, the bond amount was two million dollars, she was able to pay it so that he could be out. And that is why he is out. But he says there's a ton of corruption and there's a lot of questionable things, okay, that happened with this whole thing. Um, but he defended himself and he was able to convince at least one. It's got to be unanimous, 12 jurors, and at least one of them. They didn't pull the jury, pull the jury, so I don't know the exact numbers. I'm going to ask him. Um, but Tell that part. Okay, so I reached out to him to say, can I interview you? Because I'm not a lawyer and neither are you. So let's talk about it. And he was like, yeah, girl. So 
I it followed up again because we're supposed to be talking right after this. So if you're on my Patreon, you're going to get to see it. Join Mel's um, Patreon so y'all can see the tea, child. Patreon.com. I'm not a lawyer. But we're so, I'm going to be um, talking with him, uh, really just asking about his process. I was like, listen, I ain't trying to be on the stand. So I don't want to know your, your, I don't want to know your evidence. Don't accidentally incriminate yourself. I don't, I'm Mel, not Mel, wouldn't to be that be witness. something? Okay, no. wait a minute. No, no it would not no, no, no. be something. Yes, it would. Play this out. That would because be a mistrial means he could, no, a mistrial means he could still be retried right he's going to be on march okay. 7th okay what if he accidentally says something and they end up using your stuff in court no that would be exciting this is a murder trial mel if Just they were like clear. on 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 i'm not a lawyer no. but melanie Goosby's podcast you had said Mm-mm. it happened to that not. one guy who confessed uh in the bathroom with his mic on in that documentary you would be I the documentary. Don't, I don't want. I don't want to talk about. I literally want to understand how did you prepare. That's all I want to know. Don't tell me about your. Don't tell me what happened on that day. You should. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't want to know. You Leave should. Out. You should ask him some. No, I am. I've been. I've gotten my questions. I've asked people to ask. Okay, ask tell me so me. I can be him. First off, my first question is, how did you decide? Like, what was the moment that was? Like, I shot him. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> you too. Disconnect. Throw away the link. I don't know. All of a sudden, I can't hear or see. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> the man, first of all, nobody was shot, okay? I was just about to say. I don't even the remember person was the story, stabbed. I don't think anybody was shot. <laughs> the person was, was stabbed, and they lost their life. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm I know, at that. I know, I know. I don't want to be a part. I'm not going to. Jeez, if I ever end up on a witness stand, something in my life has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> if you know. No. I'm not a lawyer, but will blow up. You want to if you want to be crime junkie, get somebody to confess some on your podcast. No. Come on my podcast and tell me no. all your secrets. Heck no. Accidentally slip up no. and say, I did it. Nope. Are we recording? Because I think I just confessed. <laughs> not the police knocking at my door trying to ask for it. Hey, oh, do they're you not, have... they're going to call Cam. Cam, we need all the footage. Matter of fact, I just would... give me the switchboard. I'll give be... it all to me. Cab on stage studios. <laughs> Reach out to them. I don't know what happened. I know nothing. Oh my god! I'm anyway, excited. I'm gonna be tuned in. Okay. I will be um, interviewing with him. I'm very excited. I'm waiting for him to. He got stuck. He was traveling back. He from... gonna be late. You should have put him in jail so you can make him on time. <laughs> no, not, I ain't got no jail to put you in. No heaven, hell, or jail to put you in. That is your business. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to to talk with him and understand his process to defending himself. What that was like, um, how he prepared, how what he's going to do for the second round, which is going to start on March 7th mm. for him. Um, so what he's going to be doing differently, you know. So anyway, that's happening. I'm excited. I'm going to tell you what he's doing differently. He's going to use his wife's money to hire a real lawyer. No, I think he's he's still planning to defend himself again. Dumb. He Dumb. obviously did something decent the first time. No, no, no. Time. Lightning only strikes once. Well. Well, hire use your wife's money uh-uh. and hire an actual lawyer who can do what you did the basis and the framework yeah, I, I of the bones of what you did and like make it for real yeah he i feel like if you were able as an inexperienced not a lawyer person able to get this you convince one person you a hey, a lawyer with experience should be able to do better they the state attorney was trash he's not them people i'm like how many how many years of experience y'all got because they were so bad but you can see the differences in, I mean, obviously I watch a bunch of uh-huh. trials and stuff. So you see, like they would be leading with questions and usually you object as an attorney. You're like, mm. bruh, he's leading or that shouldn't be ad- admissible, whatever. But he, you can just tell he's not familiar enough to understand what he should be objecting to. Mm-hmm. The only thing is he would object to, he would have a bunch of relevance ones, um, which would be granted sometimes and sometimes not. And he would have a bunch of hearsay objections. But any other objection, like, he, it's clear he just doesn't understand, yeah. like, the basis for the kind of objections he, he should have. But anyway. Uh, they say he's he's not together with his wife? Yeah, so he put on Facebook. That man love Facebook. Chad, what's his name? Tucker what? Franklin Tyrone Tucker. Franklin Tyrone Tucker, a yeah. white man. Oh, you didn't guess, girl? The guy was on the stand, and he said, the reason I remember his name is because he's the only white man in Florida named Tyrone. Yes. It's giving Jerome Jerry and Seinfeld. And then he was like, when the guy was like, when I was telling police which one told me that, you know, we should go rob them, I said the black guy and called him Tyrone. And he was like, 
yeah, but now you're changing your story. And he was like, well, your name is Tyrone. So it was, e I just thought you were the black guy. <laughs> and he was like, but it's clear I'm not. He was like, I know, but like your name is Tyrone. I anyway. mean, I mean, I get it. Anyway. Franklin Tyrone Tucker. Tucker. CEO of Inspirational. That's, this ain't him. That is him. Are you kidding me? No, that's the him. owner and CEO at Inspirational. He got Investments. a LinkedIn with the same title. I can not. Eight hours layover in Vegas. Been see? here many times. I was. That's see? why he got stuck. That's what I. Why I was like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it because he was stuck in Vegas. He got laid over. This he is... was like, there's so many people who have been hitting me up, but um, I like to, as they come, I want to get them done because I never know what's going to pop up for me. So, you know, yeah, if we could do a Monday, let's do a Monday. And I was like, I could do a Monday. Well, child, ask him how it was Vegas. <laughs> child, as long as he didn't violate none of his <laughs> restrictions. Did he have don't a... don't get uh, up in jail. What's the bull, bulls, the wild bulls that married Madonna and was dating Electrica or whatever her name is? He the had a guy? weekend in Vegas that oh. old dude was supposed to not play Dennis the role. Redman, Don, yeah, he had a Dennis Rodman Dennis weekend. Rodman. Uh, no, I hope not. Chad. He can't have one of them. What's Mel's Patreon? Uh, Patreon.com slash I'm not a lawyer, but. Okay. Ooh, Chad. All right. Pop the trunk. Do an uh, ad. Oh, we should do an ad. Let me tell you before we, uh, hopefully while he was in Vegas, he ate food. I like food. Uh, so a lot of times we use. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I like food. Food's in Vegas. Now let me tell you about more food. Hello, fresh. You know, one of the great things about Vegas is that they have really great buffets. There you go. <clears throat> and sometimes you want a buffet at home, but don't always have the time or the capacity to go grocery shopping. And that's where HelloFresh comes in. HelloFresh is fantastic. Why? Because it is convenient and fresh. They deliver everything to your door, pre-packaged. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You don't have to do the thinking. I literally left my house this morning and said to myself, self, what are you making for dinner? And myself said... You should get some HelloFresh because Hello? I can't think no more. Amen. I get decision fatigue quickly. Real. And adding groceries and what's for dinner is just something I don't want to waste time on. And so HelloFresh said, I got you, boo. And that's how they talk to me in my emails. Absolutely. I got you, boo. Uh, so <laughs> one of the meals we had was the Monterey Jack unfried chicken. We're 40. Okay, we can't be having fried food all of the time. Hello. All right. It comes with buttery green beans, potato wedges, and sriracha mayo. And who doesn't love a good spicy mm -hmm. mayo? Ditch the meal planning blues and grocery store run with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Choose your meals and select a delivery date, which is even great for us. Even for, like, yes, podcasters, they allow us to say, like, what date or day of the week is convenient for you. Yes. Which works because it works around your schedule if you're going out of town or you know you're going to be home late or whatever you don't want food city although it's packaged it's iced chow it come it do be iced. it, it be it's iced great. okay but if you don't want your food sitting outside for whatever reason um you get to choose a schedule that works for you most of their meals are like under 30 minutes but you can get like 15 minute meals 20 minute meals and they're like like gourmet looking mm -hmm. okay you are gonna feel like a period i did that all right and who doesn't i'm all about easy wins this year this is an easy win go to hellofresh.com slash juice free and use code juice free juice free for free breakfast for life one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash juice free. Juice free. With code juice free. Um, America, uh, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right. Very good. Moving on to pop the trunk. While he pulls that up, I just have one. I posted about it yesterday. Y'all was in the comments like pop the trunk. I want to pop the trunk on manufacturers, companies that put stickers on items Amen. that you can't take off completely or smoothly. Amen. And it leaves that residue on the thing. Then, in addition, Amen. I want to pop the trunk on all of you who say, kill your firstborn, lock up their hair, and give a blood sample in order to remove it. Oh. The fact that you are telling me that I need to blow dry it, acetone, oh, yeah. hand sanitizer. Nobody wants to do that. Why do you do this? Yeah, yeah. Why do you do this? 
Especially when the solution could be on the company to just not put it there in the first place. I feel like you have internalized the problem. I agree with that. And therefore perpetuating the problem. Absolutely. We have to band together. Absolutely. Okay, everyone, get information. Get, get in line. We need to decide together that this is unacceptable mm -hmm. and we need to revolt. I am doing we a class action lawsuit. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to represent myself in court as well. And all of you, I need all of you. And if you come up and say, excuse me, but all we have to do is blow dry it in acetone for 3.2 seconds and then put it in some hand sanitizer and then dump it in the washing machine and then take it's a so Velcro hot. and then wash it off. No! No, that's so much. You are the problem as well. Okay? So the both of you together, popping the trunk on. <laughs> I'm in agreement with that, actually. It's the worst, and I don't understand why they uh, why they put them there. It's the... And there's so many other options. There's so many other options. I'm not Specifically sure. Specifically on things that are, like, acrylic or glass or, yeah. like... So now I'm going to just have this on here. Then I got to go buy Goo Gone. So I got to buy another product to the product so that I actually want. They'll put it, like, on a mirror and put it on the front of the mirror. And it's like... Why would you do that? Who did y'all hire? Who? That said, you know where we should put the sticker? here right in the middle right where you want to see your face that's what we'll put it and you're like uh, now what so now what do i do yeah that's actually i agree with that girl pop, it's too the much trunk. i'm done with this although i did take y'all advice i did buy some goo gun <laughs> just until the class action lawsuit goes through because you know that takes a little while it has to go through it, the, like the supreme absolutely. court the sup uh, absolutely yeah yeah it does it goes to the supreme court and then it and then it travels back down to the like the logistics court. To YSL. To the state. <laughs> Listen, if YSL could have a, a court case, he could have his day in court. So could I. So could okay. you. It's fine. So could I. Um, okay, we're going to listen to you guys. Oh, don't forget, you can send them to um, a website. www.speakpipe.com slash GJ. That is speakpipe.com slash GJ. There we go. I'm popping a trunk on chief financial directors of a firm who's supposed to be in charge of the girls, but clearly is not in charge of the girls. That is my supervisor who clearly continues to come to me for parts of her job that she is not doing. That's why I'm popping the trunk on. And she gets paid the good money. I make good money, but she gets paid the real good money. That's why I'm popping the trunk on. Girl, do your job. We've all had that supervisor, manager that is hired to be above you, but you train them. Yes. They don't know what they're doing, and they're making all the money. Yeah, but that was so wildly specific. It was. The chief financial director at... Know. Bankofamerica.com, who is reporting in the downtown Chicago office. Who's in charge who of the world. Who sits in LC on the fourth floor. I'm <laughs> popping the drunk on her. Like, bruh. At this point, we could pull her up. Sally, Girl. she's talking about you. Okay. I just want to pop the trunk on her. But to your point, the real, the real trunk popping is being done on people who are paid more than you. Yep. And that you report to, mm -hmm. and yet you do more work than, and have more. You've been at the company longer, so you end up training them on what to do, and now they got to give you a, a review on yes. your job, and that they don't know how to do. Yeah, that pop the trunk on the company. Girl. It ain't the supervisor's call. Why the company put that person in that compromising position? That's annoying. It's so annoying. I, I remember that happened to me. Uh, I had to teach a new guy. I was young, though. At, in this age, I'm like, oh, I realize why you guys shouldn't have gave me that job. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that, like, why would I have to teach him mm -hmm. how to do a job and then y'all give him the job? Well, so I interviewed for the job, didn't get it. You give it to him. I have to train him. And oh. then they tell me that they're going to make me report to him. And then I left, actually. I would have, too. Because that don't make no Because... If, if I have to train him, that means I know enough. But the pro and this is why today I can say it was a good idea because he took what I trained him and like expanded the role, right? I would have done what I was doing 
and what you told me to Got do. Got it. But he was able to bring strategy to the role, and I was like, oh, I see. I wouldn't have did that. So today's version, I'm it. like, oh, I see. You shouldn't have hired me. But then I think people just have to acknowledge that making someone – not giving someone a role that they interviewed for and then making them then train the person who uh, yeah, got that's the out role. Of pocket. There should there should just be a general like, y'all know this ain't right. Don't yeah, do that. I agree. You need to find somebody else to train them. Cause why would you do that? Yeah, I agree. hundred percent. Okay, next one. Hey Mel. Hey Melissa. Hey girl. This is Tam. Look, I'm coming with a pop the trunk. I want to pop the trunk on the streaming services. Can we do that? Because if I have to upgrade or if I have to switch to another streaming service one more time because the show that I like is either going to be removed if I don't upgrade or it's going to be taken off of the streaming services that's currently on, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I most recently had to switch from Showtime to Paramount Plus because my one of my favorite shows, which is The Shy, is no longer going to be on Showtime. So I had to move to Paramount Plus. And now I most recently got a notification that I might need to upgrade on my Hulu because some of my shows might be going away from that. So come on, streaming services. Can we can we can we work together? Can maybe can we all come together and just make it easy on the consumer? That's all I'm saying. I shouldn't have to upgrade every six months just to keep watching my shows that I like. I hope y'all feel me on that. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's all I have. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm in total agreement. I think we're asking cable. for cable. It's cable. It's literally cable. I think that's what we're, we're asking for. We're back to cable. The problem is that all of these streaming services, they got too, they got too happy. And as their price, the great thing that streaming services offered as an alternative to cable was that they were cheap. Yes. So paying ten dollars yeah. and having access to this catalog of content that was original or old stuff, but I can watch it on demand was very, very appealing. Yep. Well, and there's that brief period of time when they were cheap and yes. they had everything, and yes. now there's too many streaming services, and now I have everything, and they're all more expensive. And they're all thirty, forty dollars. Well, and at now this they have point, ads too. Yes. At this point, ads. it no longer makes sense to have. This app for 30, this one for 40, right. this one for 50, this one, and then don't have overlap where you bought this, but you also have this, but some of the channels that they offer are the same. You, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting money. Because one question, if someone recommends a show to me, the very next question I ask, where, where is can it? I watch yep. it? I don't want to have to do that. And so what we're saying is, with Spectrum, you should bundle it up because... <laughs> No, but yeah, then the bundle not worth them. it either because like now because so, Disney the company owns Hulu. Yep. yep. And Di and Hulu's now showing some Disney Plus shows yep. on Hulu, but not all of them. And I'm like, just make me pay one payment for exactly. a, That's a what combo I'm saying. Disney exactly. and Hulu because I'm paying X number of dollars for Disney Plus and paying for Hulu because they don't have the same stuff. But exactly. it's the same company. Exactly. And this is why, as a people, we need to revolt. Who is leading the revolution? Where is our Nat Turner? Yeah, but we're just going to get used back to paying what we... Nat Turner. We got to pay what we were used to paying again. Our we paying price. it now. We uh, just paying true. it 35 different ways. That's true. You know, where it's, it. they messed up when they said we couldn't share passwords no more. That is where they messed up. Because that's when it was cheap for us. It was it was manageable. And, okay, well, you can share mine, but if you get the other the, the streaming that's service, right. it was then like I can a buy share one, yours. Get one. Yes, but now we all have to do it. And we don't have no money. It's recession. Everybody's broke. Everybody's laying off people. Ain't nobody got a job. And yet, their profits are still. Their profits in are every, still amazing. I hate when you get the email and they're like, "Oh, to, to oh, unfortunately keep giving you this yes. service for this price, we have to now put ads on there." It's like yes. you didn't have Meanwhile, to. Meanwhile, you have to yes. before. Right. And I'm pretty Your sure you CEO guys made a profit. Still last making year. thirty and the million. CEO be making the money. Oh, y'all got money. We don't have money, and yet we still gotta pay. Make it make sense. Let me tell you about my bookie. Gear up, sports fans. The national championship and NFL playoffs are here, and it's time to get in on the action with my bookie. Don't just watch. Score big with exclusive boosted odds and huge prize contests that'll have you feeling the Super Bowl fever even before it hits because it's coming, y'all. Super Bowl is coming. Whether you're a seasoned pro or ready to roll for the first time, my bookie is your ticket to turning your sports knowledge into cold, hard cash. My bookie has the largest online 
lineup of odds contests and Vegas style casino games, making it your ultimate destination for all type of fun 24 seven right at your fingertips. If you've been waiting for the right time to get in on the action, the wait is over. Make your winning move today and sign up at my bookie. Use promo code GJ, GJ to claim your deposit of up to $1,000. That's okay. right. GJ, GJ for an opportunity to boost your betting power. Experience the thrill of sports betting right from the comfort of your home because with my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere. Join my bookie today and be a part of the winning team because we're winners over here. All right. Okay, very good. We had an easier one. Price Pricks is the one we messed up on. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That Ooh, was a time. Yes. That was a time. Uh, okay, I just have one black Twitter stream, but we're almost done here. Just Hilarious is officially I announced. I saw that. So this is the real question. Yes. Do you think this was all a marketing ploy? No. You think, what do you think happened? I think that she was at that restaurant and somebody probably told her that it was coming but they told her don't say nothing and then she said something didn't know it was going it was going to be Weak. all over the internet and i think that because she found out before she was supposed to they hadn't actually told the other host yet i think that they had to fix that in the background yes i think charlemagne and dj envy hadn't been told yet and i think somebody snuck and told jess so she announced it and the breakfast club Announced it. So, okay, so let's provide context for people who okay. are unaware. So what happened was a few weeks ago, uh, Jess Hilarious was at a private event mm -hmm. and uh, announced that she was the new host on The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. That video was then leaked, mm -hmm. and, but no one, Breakfast Club never confirmed or denied. There was nothing happening to confirm or deny. It was just kind of like, so there was a lot of speculation yes. that maybe she was fired hired. Uh -huh. Like, why didn't they officially come out with the rollout announcement afterward? Totally. It seemed like yeah. maybe. And then they had other hosts that came in instead of just like giving it to her. Yep. So it was like a lot of speculation that like, oh, seemed like she jacked up. Like maybe they did hire her. Then she had messed up and they fired her. Uh -huh. So that's what people were thinking. And then today the official announcement was made. Yep. This is my, uh, although I, do, I like your take. My take is that I believe Partly because I listened to them, because I've been saying, okay, get your whole thought out. I listened to the Brilliant Idiots faithfully for mm -hmm. like a long time, a very long periodical time. I had a gut feeling that Jess Hilarious was going to be the third mic almost immediately, to be honest, because Charlemagne has a really, he just likes her for whatever reason and i don't i don't mean that in like a sexual or inappropriate yeah, yeah. way i think he just really likes her as a as a Host. talent uh -huh. talent Works. so um i had a feeling what i think is charlemagne did know because i think he has a lot of power mm -hmm. at iheart okay and i think he has a lot of power as that i think he's the primary power on the breakfast club okay so i think they did know i also think that in a very like Kevin like way she wasn't supposed to say anything mm -hmm. and did to an audience thinking it was just going to be stay in that room because you know Kevin Fredericks would do the uh -huh, exact same thing uh -huh. and then the video leaked uh -huh. and then they all went into fix it mode. fix it mode and then I think they turned that into what the video announcement was today because after her announcement and all of this speculation started happening the video today is basically like Told y'all, and I told y'all, because she included even uh, uh, Country Wayne's interview. <laughs> oh, dang. But he said, and listen, I like Country Wayne, but he said, you got to find something else to talk about. You got to mm -hmm. get something yeah, else in yeah, your yeah, career. Yeah, yeah. And her including that yeah. is basically like, well, this is what's yeah, happening yeah. in my career now. But she had a bunch of just like, you know, what people were saying about the Breakfast Club. And then, of course, the official announcement is that. But clearly, that couldn't have been the initial no. rollout plan yeah. because all of this information gathered between right. her and this. Yeah. 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 That's called PR. People. That's yeah, exactly. called people sitting in a room and exactly figuring out that. what to do now. How but, do we fix this? Yeah. Because I'm sure they had a, a real Absolutely. true roll out of some 100%. sort and then they had well to... and there's no way that the that the announcement there's no way any announcement 
legit announcement of something in, in pop culture is meant to be done via somebody's iPhone in the back of a restaurant that in the event space. I agree. That's just not the way announcements agree. are supposed to be done. Okay? And no, they would put out a written announcement before, before executives yeah, and, and professionals sit in a room and say, you know the best way to announce this? <laughs> Get your bestie from across the way to pull out her iPhone 7 and record it. She didn't even clean like, up the lens or nothing, Jesus. So what we can all agree is it wasn't supposed to happen that way. Yeah, I agree. Okay? Yeah. Whatever happened after that, that was called fix it. Yeah, I agree with that. 100%. Okay, well, I mean, listen, the thing about Jess is she is controversial than yeah, a she mug. Is. So yeah, I am is. super intrigued to see yeah, she what is. she does as this and I heart is not controversial. No. They, they have people on there that are. Let they, me tell that, you about the do. DJ Envy lawsuit. That's, Let me tell, that's, but that's their personal lives. <laughs> oh, no, they're trying to get uh, I yeah, heart. They sure it, are. They sure are. They sure are. <laughs> Well, I will listen. I heard but po- yes, the point is they're, they don't get us wrapped up. They in don't tang- want to be. Listen, <coughs> we're not trying to be entangled with your mess over here. Heck no. Sign us and say your views are your own. Yeah. In a no way a reflection mm. because she be saying some stuff. I mean, but Charlamagne been on that thing for years, so I'm sure they will figure it out. Figure it out. They're going to go back to the old school Charlamagne days and have to figure it I out. I don't think he's going back. No, with her, I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> He's not going back, but they but have it's a also new a different time. But I honestly, she wow. I was about to say. That's true. She is wow. All right, last little bit. Uh moving on. Anything else you want to say on that? I was just gonna say, and I'll be quick, that um this beef between Nicki Minaj and I don't Meg get it. the that Stallion. Was good to say now. Listen. Can you feel me? Can you feel me in? Da, 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 da. You remember that song? Uh-uh. That's Craig David. I don't even you know You don't remember that, that song? Can you feel me in? I can't believe you don't know that song. Anyway, um, I believe this, the origination of this is is on Nikki's end. I can't pinpoint exactly. That's just my belief uh, and, like, memory. But I could be wrong. But what I do know is that <laughs> Nicki Minaj should get off of the internet. I just, I can't say that. No, she should. She should. Oh, I was <laughs> like, girl, no, I want her no. to. Because there's just, when I, th- it feels like a lifetime ago from when she was like the Nicki that a lot of us fell in love with. You know, and I used to really enjoy her music and her Me too. and like she was so animated and creative and and big personality, but also felt like she was legit a good rapper and was like holding it down amongst a, a industry of male rappers. And it was like you fell in love with her and the idea of her today Somebody's got to confiscate her phone, her laptop, her iPad, all means of communication because her decision making skills have been off. I don't know why the woman included Kim Burrell in her tweet. (laughs) What? Why would she do that? Oh, she called. Did you see it? No, I didn't she see the She called Kimber. Oh, let me find the tweet because, listen, somebody said that's what she get. Me. Apparently, Nicki Minaj and Kimberell, there's a song. Kimberell did a song with Nicki. I don't mean this shadily, but uh, as much as that doesn't make sense, I don't have to say it. <laughs> Wait, what is the, y'all, what is the tweet? Nicki Minaj, let me go to her page. Because Nicki Minaj called her a... Oh, was no, it? they said Tasha Cobb. Oh, it was Tasha Cobb. Look, okay. I'm lying, I lied. It's Tasha Cobb, you're okay. right. I lied, I oh, lied. see, I saved myself. God knew. It's Tasha Cobb, God, you're right. God knew to tell me not to say what I was going to say. And what I was going to say, I shouldn't have said out loud. Well, see, look. And then God said, don't you say it, because that's God. not even who we talking about. And I said, Jesus, you know what? I'm going to shut up. It was, it was Tasha Cobb, I lied. Hold on, where's the tweet? Because she called, she listed a bunch of people. Shannon, that's exactly what I was going to say along them lines. She listed, 
Oh, I can't I can't see fast enough, and I'm trying to find the actual tweet. Oh, oh let me put Tasha Cobb in. Is it BBS? So, does somebody know the tweet? Okay, here it is. Here it is. She said, okay, and if the lion does want to assemble my do anything B-I-T-C-H is behind me. This is Nicki Minaj tweeting. So she said, if y'all want to assemble, I got my do anything B's behind me, I right? I said, what the heck is a dud? Do, do, wait, that's not how does do does. anything. What? What the does stand for? I don't know, but that's not the point. The point oh. is she's saying I got my do anything bees behind me. Like I got my crew with me. And then she lists her do anything does. So she does I am K Bar, whatever, the girl JT, Ice Spice, Katie Got Bands, and then she lists Tasha Cobbs. She didn't mean to do Tasha Cobb. As one of her do She didn't mean she met another Tasha. As one of her do anything be imagine. Imagine Nicki Minaj calling you Tasha Cobb. Her do anything B. What? The hell, what world are Did we in? Did she fix it, Mel? She didn't mean Tasha this, Cobb. This, this is still up. What do you mean? And then she said she started promoting her stuff. She intended to say that about Tasha. She, listen, if she, if Nicki Minaj what? is calling you her do anything be something has gone terribly All wrong. Right. You have, everybody has to sit down and relax. I don't. Did Tasha Cobb make a statement? I I haven't seen one. I'm so confused. I'm confused on a multiple a multitude of levels. Let me tell you the first thing I'm confused on. When you, my brain is off. You said duds, right? I thought it was an acronym for do anything bees. Oh, Lord. But dud is spelled D-U-D. Do anything. And that's D-A-B. That's a -B. I don't. Why did you get stuck there? That's why I said, what's the duds? No, that's so not So they're important. duds? Why no. would you call them duds? She was going back. She going back and forth about the, the people. Right, because lying does, it was an insult, not like my crew. Absolutely. So in my mind, it was the crew. Well. I'm going to call my duds. I hate my it. My do anything. I hate it. And I then Tasha it. Cobb was like, break every chain. Bre exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, how are you? This is just a mess. And I don't like the song. I listened. It's not that good. I didn't enjoy that song. Okay. Nikki's whatever. And the other thing is, I, I'm I'm a little off here, so I'm I'm trying to put it together. She lists and she lists a bunch of male celebrities, right? In in one of the she's just going, she says uh the baby, she says something Trey in the song. song. Okay. She's saying all these. And I think the implication is that these are men that Meg the Stallion slept with because she also, of course, has Tory Lanez. Oh. So she's like listing. She talks about a uh, party, her ex. And so I think she's implying like she's like, look at all these people. I want it to be clear that N Every Meg the Stallion seems very comfortable in owning her sexuality uh, and who the heck she has sex with. Uh, and in 2024, I don't care who you have sex not. with. That is absolutely your business. I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm not calling you a whore. I'm calling you a grown-ass woman yes. who has the ability to sleep with who you want. Amen. So if you, as another grown-ass woman who has a questionable effing husband, okay, who has been convicted. Okay, well, you can stand on business on that. That's the law of of with somebody who didn't have, OK, the ability to say yes. Come on. And you got the nerve to talk about a woman who does and who is choosing with That's another she, person who is also choosing. Yeah, you want to talk about that on a song? Shh, don't Honey, say no that words. don't seem like a good idea. Sure enough, that's facts. And you can stand on business on that. Your husband is literally has to register as a, as a sex offender. That's a problem. Quite literally. The reason he had to go back to court is because he didn't. He did not. Oh, register? Yes. Which would be a violation. Sure enough. So, honey, why would you make us? And uh, don't even get me started on the brother. You And I, I choose not to talk about the brother because you can't choose who your siblings are. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're tied to her tied to him. Now, I, what we could talk about is her defense of him. Okay, but whatever. That's your brother. I so I won't talk about you defending him. I will talk about you choosing to marry a man. The man you said I do to you had chose. And having a child with a, a whole man. A child with the man that you had chose to say I do to with somebody who didn't have the option to say I don't. Girl, I read the documents. I seen the pictures. She be reading all the stuff. Why would you think it's appropriate to get on a song and talk about who Meg the Stallion as a grown woman 
okay, with all the agency, uh-huh. decided Good to work. have sex with. I just, that is bizarre. And then you want to make a mockery and talk a call and her Bigfoot and telling her to get on her her good foot when she was shot. You, gr- you, you, honey, hush. Where is your team? She probably fired him because she thinks she could do it herself. That just made it made me upset. You should be. You did good. That was I don't a dissertation. Like, I don't appreciate. I don't. That's dumb. Nicki Minaj has such a fall from grace. Such a fall. I, Kev said I wasn't, but I did low-key consider myself a barb. But y'all know how I be fans of people. I be fans of people because I like one song. And then I'd be like, oh, I like this person. <laughs> so can we go back to the time where we liked Nicki Minaj? Yes. What song did you like? I liked a lot. I, listen. Do you know Super Bass? Yes. Do you want to sing it with me right no, now? No, I Why? don't. You never want to sing. I don't want to sing. Because do you know the lyrics? I pull them up. No, I can. I used to practice it. We can post the video of you singing all the lyrics. I, we can send it to Aubrey. I got the video. She did it at my bachelorette party. She sang all the this words. This is for the boys with the boom and sisters not, top down. Why AC would you? With the cool we're not supporting her right now. We just Because said. we did at this time. No. He be blazing up. No. Got sex on Next. deck. He be saving there an up ad? in the ear. He real. Let he me might tell got you, a deal. Why he pop so... bottles and mm. he got the right kind of bill. He cold. He dope. He might sell coke. She was problematic then. <laughs> Somebody go in the back of a Red Lobster in the event space and say you're the new co-host of Gin and Juice. <laughs> Somebody announce it. <laughs> why he might sell coke? Why she put that in the song? Because those are the kind of people that she... Tangs around <laughs> that boom, the boom, 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 and you boom, gonna boom, continue. Bass, got that super bass. Come on, I, I did to... used to love this song though. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it used to be good. It used to be good. This was my favorite verse. This from the boys in the polos, entrepreneur niggas in the mogos. See me from the ball, you solo. But I think I like him better when he dolo, and I think I like him better with a fitted cap on. He ain't even got. I gotta put the Mac on. He just gotta give me that look. When he give me that look, then Ben coming off. Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me, you're a heck of a guy. I said, my, 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 you're this American guys. You're not even singing it Sigh. right. Sigh, sick in the eyes. You can tell that you're in touch <sighs> with your feminine side. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell him who the F.I. is. I am Nicki Minaj. I'm the Buddha. So the Buddha and Chuck the Deuce. All right. Let's talk about the trust. I did good. No. <laughs> no, you did not. There's a video of you doing it and you actually knew the words. Today, it's you been don't. a long time. You don't. I had to fall off. Listen, I ain't listened to Nicki Minaj. It's been a very much a long periodical time. I'm, okay? popping, I'm popping the trunk on you <laughs> singing songs on this show. Pop the trunk. Uh, pop, where's the speak pipe? Hi, listen, Mel. It's your girl, Mel. I love your show. Just here to tell you that I hate when Melissa gets on the mic and sings songs. You sounded like McKinley when you said that. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I actually don't listen to R. Kelly, though. That's, he's out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He is out all right we're done here uh the trust this is the thing we watched the trust the the finale fell it was a dud to me a little bit it was a dud but i'm very happy that that girl took that money me too take the money honey. i agree but say what we said yesterday what that they need a review i mean a, a reunion. reunion they do they do need a reunion but um also let me just say this this is it why was anticlimactic. i was happy she took the money because I, this is what i don't like right when you are in a group and people do bad things, it'd be like, after you apologize, they'd be like, okay, clean slate, and everybody's just supposed to start fresh. Okay, you did your bad thing. Yeah. You got away with your stuff. You don't just get to now, ev- no, I want my turn. Just because you did it first don't yeah. mean I also don't get a turn, and now everybody's all, okay, but we all agreed. Yeah, but that didn't erase her bad thing. She still got her money. I agree. She it- still was going to walk away with her extra money. So home girl, black girl, Take your money. Yeah, I agree. That was, I felt, that's why I felt like it was a dud. It was very like kumbaya ish. Yes, yes. And the whole show, the whole season was very like, ooh, what they gonna do? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, they don't like each other. Oh, what happened? Oh, this allegiance is bro. Oh, this alliance is bro. Oh, now they gotta team up. And then it was like, let's just all agree yeah. to get the money and we'll be fine. No, we're And not it was family, like, bro. no, it's not. And mm-hmm. they didn't get to call out, listen, I'm happy. Uh, what is her name? Tolu. Tolu, thank you. Right? I'm yeah. I'm ha- Tulu. 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 Like I'm happy uh Tulu took the money, right? 
very happy for her. But I would have loved to see her be confronted. Me too. About it. Me too. Like, well, and I wanted her to stand on it. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. She said the whole time I'm honest, I stand on business. Like somebody ask her and make her. Yeah. Like I would have loved to have seen that. And the fact that we didn't get to see that, it just felt it fell flat. The, yes. the 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 ending the finale fell very flat. And they definitely should have a reunion of sorts to talk about how you felt about yeah. finding out she took the money. How Afterwards. did you find out? Yeah. Where were you? What's going on? Are y'all friends? Was it still kumbaya? Like, what the deal? Like what then do we ever did they ever find out that the other black girl didn't she take some money? The one that got kicked off? I didn't think so. Tolu's I think she did and lied about the amount. Oh, somebody did. No, that was the white girl. The white girl took the money and lied about the amount. Didn't she? Somebody no, did. I think it was the black girl. Oh, okay. I think wasn't it the other Winnie? Yes, Winnie. She did. Yes. Oh. Winnie. What? Sorry, go ahead. He said no. No. Apparently the judge recused himself. He tried to get him recused. That was one of the last things that happened. He just emailed uh, me. Uh Jerome? Jerome Frank Tyrone. Oh, Tyrone. He said, by the way, you're going to out scoop everyone with this. <laughs> I told you. A liar exclusive. <laughs> so the Lord, so the judge recused himself. He didn't know what he was doing. He needs a real lawyer. He was though. recusing. So that what ha she called him Jerome. Yes, we should acknowledge that she called that man Jerome. His name is Tyrone. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. That can't be bothered. No. Okay, sorry. So wait a minute. Say the whole story. Okay, now. sorry, sorry. What happened is, okay, but I manifested this. Before he d got on the stand, because Tyrone got on the stand himself, which was also very awkward because when you're an attorney and you're also the defendant, you can't interview you yourself, right? And that's usually how it's an examination of yeah. somebody asking you questions. So he, it's narrative form. So he just got up there and got to tell the story. That very awkward. Yeah, but then the state still got to object. Oh. And then when he did recross, redirect. Yeah, yeah. It was like weird again. Because he, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Anyway, and then it was very hostile. It was really, really awkward. Anyway, the point is, before he did that, uh -huh. he f he was like, Your Honor, just to be honest, I am going to file the paperwork because I want to have you recused. Wait, he said this directly Dur to He told the judge. And the judge was like, that's fine. Can you just have your witnesses tomorrow? <laughs> and he was like, okay. So he comes back the next day and the judge is like, do you have your witnesses? And he was like, well, I filed the paperwork to have you recused, but you know that there's a, there's a process. Oh, he to thought it, it was gonna be the same day. Well, he yes, and so he was like, I filed another motion for you to give me a delay. I want to delay this trial so that I can file the paperwork to get you recused. And the judge was like, he literally was like, no. <laughs> he was like, but your honor, you're just not allowing me the time. I need to recuse you, so I need you to delay the trial. And he was like, no, where are your witnesses? And so Tyrone was like, I ain't got no witnesses because I was hoping for the delay. Because I was hoping they would be like, approved, yes. he's recused. So then he was like, I guess I got to get on the stand because I ain't, it's, I'm, I don't have no witnesses. I'm, I'm the witness. <laughs> so then he was like, are you saying you're going to get on the stand and testify yourself? And he was like, yeah. He was like, okay. So then Tyrone was like, I'm going to just do narrative form. So Tyrone got on that stand, y'all. He was like, so... <laughs> In 2005, I moved to Florida. I used to work on some beaches. I mean, some boats. And um, so he literally tells this story. So awkward. And then the state does cross-examination. It was so hostile because he he's... It's so weird. Yeah, that is So weird. they're going back and forth. And he's like, so did you say you were here? And Tyrone's like, did you say you were there? <laughs> Where were, I wasn't there. Where's your part? It was so awkward. So anyway, they have this very hostile cross. And then the judge is like, do you want to do redirect? And Tyrone was like, yes. And then he's like, I don't, I don't really know how to do redirect. So I guess I'm done. And then that was, that was it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not even kidding y'all. Like legit, that's, the, I'm not exaggerating. Ooh, this, this is, is like, so, great. so anyway, he didn't get to, um, so then they handed it over to the jury. And so the trial ended because it was a, it was a hung jury. So the fact that, and the judge already put for the retrial to happen on March 7th, it was going to be with that same judge. Oh. So the fact that now I got to get the tea so hard. Why, why is he recuse? What's his basis for recusing or recusal? He was saying he didn't feel like he was getting a fair trial. He said that, um, the, um, 
So, and this is a part of why he went pro se is because... What does pro se mean? Do, rep representing yourself. Oh. So... What happened, I have to get exactly, this is a part of what I want to ask him, but apparently when he had an attorney, the attorney asked for the whole case to be dismissed. Uh -huh. And the judge denied the motion oh. for dismissal, but apparently there was like in a very aggressive and there was a lot of words exchanged regarding this dismissal. And so uh, Tyrone felt like, I'm not going to get a fair trial and I'm relying on people who know the case, but he always says, nobody knows the case better than me. And so I think he felt more confident being able to like go back and forth or up against oh, this see. judge. And he didn't feel like he wanted to leave that in the hands of an attorney. So he wanted to do it himself. That is my understanding. But again, it's a part of what I want to talk to him about. Um, and so... Yeah, he's been saying that it's been corrupt this whole time. And then even with the woman who Let was on her deathbed, really something. Uh -huh, girl, uh -huh. the uh, Paula, who was mm -hmm. on her deathbed, he had asked her, remember, she was he was like, she they said she might not make it till yeah. Friday. Can she testify today? Which he was fighting hard for that. But that's not a common thing, especially right. when you have a, a deposition that you can rely on. So anyway, the fact that the judge said no he again felt like uh, I am just being I'm not being given a fair trial right. because of like all of this bias towards me. It has nothing like if I had an attorney, I yeah. would have been able, you know, this yeah. wouldn't have been the case. So anyway, he was trying to get him recused. But I'm going I'm to ask him. That's I'm wild. Ask him. All right, y'all, we about to be done. Last thing I just want to say, because we done went over, 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 over time, and Mel has to get ready for her thing. Uh, 3,000 people told me to watch The Traitor on I need to Peacock. watch it. I watched, I, I, want, I also want to pop the trunk on y'all. I was up till 1 o'clock last night watching it. I watched four or five episodes. Oh, really? It's very good. It's very good. It is, quickly, it is the, the game werewolf in a... Uh, what do you call them? Social experiment oh, yes. reality competition show. Oh. So imagine Werewolf meets like The Mole mm -hmm. on Netflix. Those two things make Traitor. That's what it, or The Traitor, whatever it's called. It's really good. I started with season two because I assume that's what, because so many people were telling me that. I assume that's the, it, because of the most recent season. Sheree Ruthfield's on there. Oh. Oh. Uh, Phaedra is on there. Oh, I've been seeing people talk about this. Yes. And then they have people from like the reality show universe, like uh, Survivor yeah. and uh, some other women from Bravo, like Tamara, Tamara, something like the OC girl. And then they have the Bling Empire dude there, oh, Kevin. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, Deontay Wilder, the which yeah. he's a little bit interesting to me. I thought he got in trouble for like domestic violence. I actually meant to look this up. Deontay. Okay. Deontay Wilder, but uh -huh. he, I was like, this isn't, maybe you're not who I thought you were because who he was coming across on screen wasn't like registering with who I thought he was. So it was a little bit of a weird experience to be completely honest. Anyway, uh, so far I'm enjoying it. That's all I want to say. If you I guys want to watch it, I highly recommend because we can talk about it later. Okay, that's it. That's all. When are you going to do the interview with him so people can know? Uh, he just said, can we do after three? I was hoping for two, which is good because we're not done yet. Oh. Um, so I will, as soon as I confirm a time, I'm thinking... He said after three, so I'm gonna shoot for three thirty, um, and then I'll put in my Patreon because okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the interview live. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned for Mills. Uh, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but Patreon. If you're on there, if not, I don't know if the rest of y'all gonna get this. I'll put it on my YouTube. Okay. All Later right. though, it's not gonna be, and uh, it won't be live, and it won't be live. But it's gonna go on my YouTube, which is also I'm not a lawyer, but on YouTube. Okay, I should Sha change my thing so you can add that on there. Okay. All right, thank you guys. Bye.